Hello, and welcome to Living the Intentional Life. I had the privilege of teaching an intensive course this summer called Living the Intentional Life in a Sea of Possibilities. And it was a blast. I had a small but very diverse group of students from many different countries around the world. Uh, we met three hours a day, 15 times, and it was wonderful. I've always wanted to lead discussions on living intentionally. In fact, this course, you may say, was one of my intentions. And it was an honor and a privilege to be able to have this opportunity. I learned many things, and I also realized some things anew while uh, teaching this seminar. Not the least of which was the importance of community when living the intentional life. I noticed that even though I was frankly unsure of myself and my ability to teach such a class, I felt a bit overwhelmed by the experience. At the end of each meeting, at the, each, at the end of each session, I was walking out feeling radiant. There was a spring in my step. I felt great. I found myself recycling in class an old cliché. I was in my groove. I was feeling my flow. It was wonderful. And I asked myself why I was feeling so good. It wasn't the weather. The weather was very hot. I don't like hot weather very much. Um, it wasn't because I was on my way to do something exciting either. It wasn't even because I was talking and thinking a lot about intention. This heightened feeling was more easily achievable because I was able to co-create a collective focus on the power of intention. And that is what had elevated my mood, had elevated me so consistently. In many ways, living the intentional life is counter-cultural. Most people think that they get what they want through hard work, that they have to struggle to earn what they need, that they have to fight for their rights, fight for what they want in life. When people gather in groups with their friends, with their family, with acquaintances, uh, they talk about things like sports and fashion, uh, entertainment, relationships, employment, careers, and sometimes even politics. But we don't talk very much about our spiritual lives and ways of experiencing life as spirit manifesting in a body. In modern society, as more and more of our sisters and brothers have distanced themselves from religious institutions, many of us do not feel like we have a community to support us in our individual spiritual journeys. In the middle of this incredible oneness, many of us feel isolated, feel alone. And having a community is so beneficial. It strengthens us on our spiritual paths. It gives us support in our beliefs and confirms and helps to create a sense of not only belonging, but sense of being in community. I found strong evidence of that while leading a, my seminar on living the intentional life. Um, my attitude was elevated at the end of each session. Um, more things seemed to work out for me. More things seemed to be moving in the direction that I wanted them to move. More people smiled at me and acknowledged me on the street. Strangers were saying hello. And that is part of the elevated experience that you can have coming out of a communal experience of sharing intention. And I feel blessed for having had the experience and look forward to getting another experience and another opportunity to gather in groups to communicate about intention and experience living our lives intentionally. I know that we humans, in addition to this entire universe, are here to co-create and here to form in collective expressions 
of delight. And as such, I am here for you. I am here to create with you. I am here to share with you. I am here to experience with you and to revel in you as an intentional being of love, joy, well-being and awareness. Thank you.